What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some fun stuff to take a look at. We're gonna be looking at some titles, overlays, and transitions that were created by Messiah for DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into the video. let's get right into it. As I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at some tools here that were created by Messiah for DaVinci Resolve. And up front here, just to let you guys know, Messiah did reach out to me. They did send me all their packs uh, for free to try out, to share with you guys, and to let you know what my thoughts are and how I like using them. And if you keep watching this video, there's going to be a discount code that pops up, and you'll be able to use that over on their website if you're interested in purchasing any of their products. So Messiah has a great set of tools that you can go and purchase on their website, and these things are easy to use. I've been playing with them for a while and uh, I find them really helpful. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump over to the computer. I'm going to show you what you can get from them. And then I'm going to show you how to install these transitions. And one of the cool things is that they work with power bins. So you don't have to go and open other projects, copy, paste, and all that. You can just stick them in your power bins and they'll show up in all your projects. So that's sweet. I really like that. The other thing that I like is that they're drag and drop. You just drag it, drop it on your timeline, and boom, there you go. Makes it super easy to work with them. Because if you guys are anything like me, I don't have a ton of time when I'm working on my videos to create all kinds of cool transitions and effects and stuff. I just sometimes need to crank through the video, get it done. So these transitions make it super easy to drag and drop it on there. Another thing that I really like about these tools is that you don't need multiple versions for different frame rates. You can just use one of these transitions, drag it and drop it on your timeline. Doesn't matter what resolution, doesn't matter what frame rate, it's gonna work just fine on uh, any, any frame rate in any timeline. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna put all the transitions, the text effects, everything that I've got together in a uh, long set of clips. Cause I figure if you're gonna buy it and you're interested in it, you probably wanna know what they all look like. So let's jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you the website, what you can get, how to install them and uh, how to get them into DaVinci Resolve. Here is Messiah's website, Messiah Tools for DaVinci Resolve. And if we scroll down here, the pack that I have is Messiah Packs version 1.3. So if you click on there, it'll show you all the options that we have in this pack. We have two title packs. We have two camera move transitions. We have a wipe move transition, glitch transitions, text transition packs, shadow wipes, divider title packs. And each one of these you can use in power bins, which is awesome. And if we come back to their homepage here, you can buy any one of these individually. You can buy other sets of them. There's all different ways you can purchase these from Messiah. So once you make your purchase, you'll be sent a link to go download the files. Once you download the files, you're gonna to wanna to open them up and stick them somewhere on your hard drive where you're gonna have access to them. For me, I put them on my external hard drive because I always have that with me and I bring it everywhere I go. So you can see here, we've got all the different packs and they come in a folder. And if you jump inside one of them, let's just do the camera move here. You can see they do have all the separate frame rates, but they also have this file right here, which says power bins. So that's what we're gonna be using. And then they also have previews for each one, which will come in once we load them up in DaVinci Resolve. And you also have some sounds that come with some of the packs. All right, now that you got all your transitions, your titles, all your packs uh, on your hard drive, wherever you want them to live, I'm gonna show you how to load them up. First, I'm gonna show you how you would install any of the camera moves, the glitches, the divider pack, the shadow wipes and the wipe move transitions. The title pack 1.1 and title pack two are gonna be installed a little bit differently. So first let's get these other ones into DaVinci Resolve and put them in the power bins and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to work with the title packs here. Once you launch DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna to come to your project window. So the first thing we need to do is actually open up one of the packs. So I'm just gonna right click anywhere in my project window and come down to import project. Then you wanna to navigate to wherever you put your folders, pick one of your packs. I'm gonna use the divider title pack for now. And the one that I wanna open is 1.3 for power bins. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And now my project manager here, I can come and open that project up. Once the project opens, you're gonna see there's a folder here in your bins. So I'm gonna double click that. So if you notice that some of your clips are missing, as you can see here, you can just select all your clips by windowing over them. You can right click on them and then you wanna to go to relink selected clips. Then you wanna to go to wherever that folder is that you put on your computer. So for me, I have a divider title pack and inside there, you're gonna see a folder called preview. Select that and then you can click open and it should relink all your files for you. So how this works is you have your fusion clip on the left here and on the right, you have a preview of what the fusion clip is. For example, if I double click 
It opens in my preview window and then I can play through it and this is what the fusion clip is going to look like. It's pretty cool. So you get an idea of what each one is going to do. So how do we add these into our power bin? Super easy. Come over to master and grab the bin that's underneath there and just drag it down into the master power bin. Now I've already got them added in down here. So it looks like now I have two of them. I have one divider right there and one right here. And that's it. Now it's going to be available for me in every single project. And now what if you don't see your power bins? Super easy. Come on up to view, scroll all the way down. And right here you have show power bins. So if you're not seeing your power bins, just go ahead and click that on and then you'll see your power bins. So you can see I've already gone ahead and added in the other packs. So now once I get to another project, they're all going to be available for me to use. And once you've added them into your power bins, you can close this file and you don't need it anymore. Before we get going adding all these things into our timeline, there's a few settings that Messiah recommends that you check just to make sure you're getting the best performance because all these things, they should play back in real time without the need to cache and pre-render basically. So you should just be able to drop them in the timeline and watch them. So come up to your DaVinci Resolve menu at the top, come down to preferences. Select system at the top here. Make sure you're on memory and GPU. For me, I leave both of these guys boosted up as high as they can go. And then here, GPU processing mode. So take a look at this. Mine originally was on auto. And what Messiah recommends is that you use OpenCL for AMD graphics cards. You use CUDA for NVIDIA cards and you use metal if you're on a Mac. So I'm on a Mac, so I'll go ahead and pick metal. And then GPU selection mode right here, select manual. And I have this guy checked right here. And that should ensure that you're gonna be able to play these back in real time uh, the best that your computer can. So then click save. The other setting that you wanna change real quick, come up to your three little dots up here above your viewer and make sure you have show all video frames checked on. Mine was not checked on, so I turned it on, and uh, I'm not sure what difference it'll make, but we'll see as we get moving forward here. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to use one of these packs. I'm going to use a glitch transition, just because I think they're cool. So I've got two clips in my timeline, and when I look in my media pool over here, I can see I've got all these different transitions, and if I scrub over top of the preview, I can see what the glitch transition is going to look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one, this guy right here. All I have to do is drag and drop it onto my timeline, and adjust it to where I want. Now for the glitch transitions, there are some sounds that come with it too. So you can pick which sound you want to use with your transition. So I'm just going to pick this guy here, add it on there, and let's play through the clip and see how that looks. So that's it. It's easy as dragging and dropping it on there. So let's say maybe I didn't want to use the glitch transition, so I can just delete that. And let's say I wanted to try one of the camera move ones, you know, with a short camera move. And let's see, we'll just grab this one here, drop it on, and we'll just go ahead and play through it. And the same way that we had sounds for our glitches, you've got sounds for your uh, camera move transitions, so you can drag whatever sound you like and drop that down on there too. One thing that I did notice though that I thought was interesting is that the sounds are not attached to the fusion clip. So you always need to add in your sound separately, which I think is okay because sometimes you don't always want the sound. But uh, I just thought it was interesting that they weren't connected together so that when you drag and drop in a transition or something, the sound doesn't come with it. So now back to the title packs. If you click on one of the title packs, you will see that there's a PDF in there that's going to tell you how to install it. Once you open that up, it's going to tell you that you need to copy the files from that folder that we have on our hard drive to one of these two locations. If you're using a PC, it's here. If you're using a Mac, it's right down here. So coming back to our title pack folder, I'm gonna come into title 01, and I'm gonna select all these files, control C for copy or command C. And then I'm gonna go over to that directory. I'm on a Mac, so I follow that directory. It's uh, library application support, black magic design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, templates, edit titles, and we're just gonna paste them in here. And once you paste the titles from both pack number one and pack number two into that new location, you're going to need to restart DaVinci Resolve. So paste them in there and then go ahead and restart DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you where to find them. All right, so we're back in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully you restarted it and now all these titles are going to appear in here for you. So if you come to your effects library and you come down to your titles, now we have fusion titles right here. Scroll down and you're going to see right here, Messiah title 0101 all the way down for both packs. And to use them, it's as easy as just clicking it 
and dragging and dropping it onto your timeline. You can just place it wherever you want to use it in your video. And it does give you the little preview with some uh, filler text that's in there. You can see what it's going to look like. It does take a little bit for it to render. Uh, my computer is a little older, so it's a little slow here too. And then to edit the text on your clip, you can highlight your clip, go to the inspector, and you've got all your options here underneath Fusion. Change your text. We can call it, uh, hi. You can change your font, your size, all the normal stuff that you could adjust with any text. Your second line of text is there. You can change the colors and do any kind of edits or customize it however you would like to. So I think that's super convenient that the titles just drop right in here into the effects library. All right, there you go. That's how you get it all loaded up in DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty easy, not too hard. If you have any problems, definitely reach out to them or leave a comment down below. And I'm sure they'll be more than willing to help you out. And if you leave a message for me, I'm more than happy to help you guys out too. So overall, I think these are great. I think they're uh, a good tool to use in DaVinci Resolve to get some cool effects and cool things happening in your video. If you're interested in purchasing these, again, check out the link in the description below. Head on over to their website and um, Try them out. I mean, they're pretty good. I like them. I've been using them for a while and I think they're pretty good. All right, and coming up, as I mentioned, I've got a whole long clip here that's gonna have all the transitions, all the titles, the divider packs, everything. It's all put in there just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like on some footage. And don't forget, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve and hit that little bell if you wanna be notified when I release a new video. All right, stay tuned for all the footage and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.